guys, we're sitting back with another video and I do want to apologise again that I haven't filmed a video for you guys for a very long time and I really hope you guys did enjoy the last video that I filmed for you guys the makeup transformation I think which was the last one I filmed but yes, I hope you guys did enjoy that video and this video is basically a tip kind of video because as summer holidays is coming up like in a week time or you might even be finishing up this week well whichever this week or next week this kind of tips hopefully will help you to figure out how to enjoy your holiday 2019 so today is basically tips i haven't done a tips video for very guys like for a very long time and i feel like this one is like it's gonna be the one that obviously it's gonna be the first one i've done in a whole time until for a very long time so let's get back into this video shall we okay so the basically the first thing is on how to enjoy your summer holidays take your time take a week off of just you because for me i don't want to make everything about me in this video but for me when i was on my when i started my holidays i started for a week i don't know how to explain it, but basically for me what i did for one of the one week i have i took my personal space so I didn't hang out with friends I just um I just what's the word I don't know what's the word what I'm trying to say is is I took my time to my for myself to get a hang of being on holidays if that makes sense so I took my time I took a time a week off basically that's what I was trying to say for this whole time I took a week off for myself to relax myself um to rest and to chill before I do anything exciting or, or going out I just took a week off to just clear my mind of school of homework of exams just basically t I took a week off basically that's what I'm trying to say and it worked miraculously because for the rest of the holidays I have been my mind has been cleared I have been try I've been doing more activities and I've literally just enjoy myself so my advice one of my tips for you is to take a week off for yourself to clear your mind and to just get forget about school or your exams or your marks or whatever to just forget it completely and just relax your mind and for a week off and then you can go and do activities if that makes sense or if you're going on holiday on on the week but just enjoy yourself, just basically just clear your mind of school, whatever you do, clear your mind of school or work. So it would help you to get on with the holidays and enjoy it more than just stressing and then just thinking about school all the time when you're supposed to be on holiday, relaxing and chilling. I'm sorry if I'm making, if I'm speaking too fast, but I'm trying not to. Make sure you do hang out with your friends because you don't have to hang out with your friends, but I mean, I would say hang out with your friends as much as possible because you really don't want to be like me. Okay, so basically I'm going to tell you a story. So for two months, I think, wait, June, July, for a month and a half, I have been by myself. I haven't hung out with, I haven't hung out with any of my friends for a month and a half. And honestly, last week, was the, I think was the first time first time that I've hanged out with my friends like no joke there's no joke I'm not literally joking with you last week was the first time that I've actually hanged out with my friends because one most of my friends have been in school but some of them have been off on holiday because they had exams as well but they but we they couldn't like come out so really last week was the last the first time that I've honestly hanged out with my friends well my best friend Trian if you don't obviously you know her but honestly it's been crazy like literally crazy that's how crazy it's been for me so make sure you hang out with your friends as much as possible don't be like me and hang out with your friends just for one week no and don't be like me please don't be like me because like i don't want to be i can't believe honestly i'm not joking with you last week was the first time that i've honestly hung out with my friends like I have been, I have been out, but not with my friends though. That's the thing. I have been, yeah. So, um, that's my story for you guys. But that's a tip for me. Make sure you hang out with your friends. Also, take your week off as well. 
So don't forget those two tips. And the third tip I'm going to do is, I'm sorry, I'm looking down because I have my notes and basically what to say and basically not to freeze. Um, make sure you do. Make sure you use your time wisely because days will go forward and they will go fast. Like, believe me when I tell you, it is July now. Like, in two weeks' time or three weeks' time, it's going to be August. And then, you know what I'm talking about. So, make your time wisely. Use it wisely and use your days wisely as well and productively. Productive. Be productive. I can't be the one to talk because I have not been productive over my holidays. Believe me, I haven't. So, I really can't talk on that subject. But, we just don't be like me. Use your days productive and also your time productive because... You don't know how t days goes. It goes so fast. Like, the more you know, it's going to be August. And then you're just, your summer's going to be basically all gone, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to make you guys, I don't know, stress about it. But, like, I'm just saying, just a tip before you guys go on with your summer holidays. Before you start your summer holidays. Um, so, make sure you use your time wisely because you don't know how long you have until it's gone which I know and also hang out with your family as well because you might not have time to hang out with your family when you were doing your exams or you were in school so spend this time to hang out with your family as well or spend time more with your family because when you're in school when you're in school you can't really do that all the time because you're at school you have homework you have to go to school the next day or you have exams or you have your marks and you have to revise so hang out with your family have more time with your family if you haven't already so because this is the good time a great time to actually hang out with your family because it's summer and it's the sun's out some most of the times and it's a good time to hang out with your family or do a barbecue or you know, go to the beach or whatever, just hang out with your family, just whatever. I'm like, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm shouting these tips to you, which I don't mean to, but I think I am, but I do apologize though. Um, do the things, do the things that you couldn't do, but you want to do. So like, for example, if you wanted to do horse riding, but you couldn't because of your school, then do it. Don't go horse riding. If it was to sky surf, I've just given examples that you couldn't do, do it. Trail party, which you couldn't do, do it. So, you know what I mean? So, do the things that you couldn't do because of your exams here in the summer holidays. Because if you do it, you're going to be more productive and also it's going to give you more, more experience, which you can, which can lead to many things for you in the future careers or just in the future. So, do the things that you couldn't do in the summer because it's a great time to do it because you have time and you have the day to do it have any day to do it you have the time to do it so use it and do it because activities are very fun and they can help you with your boredom if you're not doing anything in summer which i hopefully will be doing horse riding again hopefully fingers crossed that i will be doing this summer because i wanted to do horse riding for a very long time i've done it before but I moved to school so I couldn't really carry on doing it. So I'm going to get back into doing it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So do the things that you couldn't do. Um, go on holiday. I know this might not be simple. Like, okay, I can't really book a holiday because I don't have the money. Or I've got other plans. Just You don't actually have to go out of the country to have a good time. You can go on holiday to like countries in based in England or wherever you are so like you can go to Brighton Wales like many places in England or in America or wherever whoever is watching this right now you know you can go on small holidays like I don't know why I just basically said you don't actually have to go outside to have a good holiday basically and when I just said go on holiday anyway that makes sense just if you do want to go on holiday, then think small, if I must say. If I actually have to like explain in much detail. If you're going on holiday already, then that's fine. You don't have to like listen to this tip. But if you're not going on holiday, if you're stuck in England, you don't have to go on a big holiday. You can go on a small holiday, like to Brighton, wherever you go. Like whatever is in England that 
you can just find like a theme park, um, Thor Park, other amusement parks, then go on them. Go on those holidays because no matter where you go, you're going to enjoy yourself. Definitely. Um, or go to the nearest beach to you. So if the nearest beach to you is Brighton, then go to Brighton. If the nearest beach is somewhere else, go to that somewhere else. I don't know where else uh, where beaches. I don't. The only place I know is Brighton, and but I know there's many beaches in England, but I don't know all of them. So I do need to know my country, don't I? Yeah. Uh, I know you don't want to hear this tip, and uh, because you think it's going back to school, but like it's read a book. And I know summer holidays is not by reading the book. Why do you want to read a book when you're on holidays? But it can help you learn more English and also it can help you to be productive as well. Like it doesn't have to be a big huge book. It doesn't even have to be a school book. It can be just like a, go to the library and pick a book from there. You don't actually have to read a school book. Just read a normal good book to you. Like I'm saying if it's a small book fine it's still a book. If it's a big book fine by me. It's still a book. So if it's a medium book, then it's a book. So my advice is to some, not all the time, but read a book to help you be productive. I can't talk as well because I haven't read a book since I don't know. I forgot. Like I forgot when it was the last time I read a book, which is bad because I need to get back into reading a book because I want to do English literature. So if I want to do English literature, I've got to read a book. So, I know you don't want to hear that, but it's advice, just, you don't have to take it, but my advice is to read a book. I'm sorry if I'm keeping waving this around, but, but yeah, um, so just read a book, because you know, you never know, it could help you in, it could help you, you never know, it could actually help you. Um, maybe you want to decorate your room, so like, it's the summer holiday, so you want to do something new, and a new term, a new month, then to decorate your room. So you can decorate it with summer stuff or with like home decor or rearrange your bed and how it's laid out or whatever. Just decorate your room, something. Just decorate your room or tidy your room. Maybe you couldn't tidy your room because you were too busy with homework and stuff like that, but you have time to do that. So tidy your room if it's not already tidy or you can even decorate it as well as tidy it at the same time. So it can be productive as well as not because not all people want to tidy their room. But yeah, I mean, if you like tidiness and you don't like mess, then obviously it's good for you. But if you don't like mess, if you do like mess and you can't put a tidy room, well then you can decorate as well as tidy at the same time. So really, you're going to be doing it at the same time, really, if that makes sense. Um, look for jobs. If you're old enough, look for jobs. Because right now, for me, I've been looking for jobs everywhere. Like, everywhere. And hopefully, I'll get one of them eventually. But, like, honestly, I've been waiting forever. Forever. Honestly, forever. For jobs. There have been no success so far, but I'm not giving up. I'm not upset about it. I'm not going to give up because why should I give up? It's just a job. And... Why should I give up? I'm not going to give up. Just don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on anything. Just keep on doing it until you get it. Okay? So, I'm going to be doing the same thing. So, you should do it too. Um, just... Okay. Maybe catch catch up on the movies or your TV shows that you haven't... That you missed due to school. So, catch up to all of them. So, go on Netflix, one to two movies, or just on TV and maybe it's Riverdale that you've missed an episode or Pretty Little Liars even though it's basically finished Black Lightning which is a good TV show which I recommend um what else is out there that everyone is like into Love Island Love Island is so popular like honestly it's so popular everyone's watching it it's like um what else is there that there's to watch that people on my block Season 2, um, those kind of movies or TV shows, just binge watch them 
binge watch them because you have the time to do that now so binge them binge watch them if that makes sense so yes so my 10 my 11th tip which i think everyone can agree on and can do and and that's just to enjoy your summer for me to you i hope you do enjoy your summer because honestly this is the month this is the holiday where you can do whatever you want until september which i don't want to describe you on but enjoy it because it's going to be gone soon and i don't want to sound down and i'm not trying to so just enjoy your summer whatever you do it doesn't matter if you don't do any of my tips that i have showed you today or told you today but just to enjoy your summer whatever you're doing and be productive don't be like me who's been sitting in this room since june okay don't be like me okay just enjoy your summer whatever you're doing and i hope you do enjoy your summer if you're going on a holiday i hope you do enjoy your holiday because I hope you do because it's going to be sunny, hopefully, wherever you're going, it will be sunny. And I just hope you guys just, whatever you're doing, like I keep on saying myself, I'm repeating myself, whatever you do, remember, enjoy it. Don't think about, don't stress about anything that's not related to summer holidays. Just ignore it, push it back to your head and to the back of your head and just enjoy your summer, okay? Just enjoy your summer, I hope you do because summer, I love summer. Like, no doubt, I love summer. Just enjoy it. And I hope enjoy. you do. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I hope you guys did listen to my tips. Even though some of them might have been related to school. But, just enjoy it, really. Just please, please, enjoy it. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell down below. So it will be, so I'll notify you whenever I do film a video of you guys. And also comment down below what you're doing for the summer or any tips you want to give me exchange tips then do let me know down below and also give this video a like and do do by all means watch all my videos in the summer holidays or binge watch them or whatever do enjoy my videos i hope you guys do do let me know what kind of videos you want to see next and i would be love to do it for you guys so if there's any challenges or tutorials or whatever or tips more tips then do let me know down below and please do let me know down below i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you all very 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 soon with another one so